Hi everybody! In another video I created some interesting new sounds for my Vertigo Tremolo and I actually burned those into memory over top of some of the original factory sounds. So I created a cool stereo trance tremolo sound and I overwrote my normal opto sound on my, my Vertigo. And that's great, but now I can't get back to my original opto sound. And you might be wondering is there a way that I can revert back to all the original factory default sounds? And there is! In the Neuro app, I'll first go to Hardware Options, and then I'll select the Factory Reset command. And the Neuro app will give you a warning. This will revert to the original factory settings, and this will erase any user sounds that you've burned into your pedal. So just hit the Continue button, and this light will show that the reset is happening, and when the light goes off, the reset is complete. So now I should be able to hear my normal, original opto tremolo sound. There are some other options here in the Hardware Options screen. The first one is the Effect Bypass mode. Source Audio products have something called Universal Bypass. That means we let you select between True Bypass, which is a relay-based mechanical True Bypass, or Active Analog Buffered Bypass, which will let you send your input signal through a buffer before going to the outputs. By default, your Vertigo Tremolo will be in True Bypass mode, but you can change that setting here in the Hardware Options mode. I will go into my bypass mode and I can select either true bypass or active analog buffered bypass. And once that selection is done, just hit the done button and the change has been made. The second option on the hardware options menu is preset mode. So normally the Vertigo Tremolo operates just like any other effects pedal. If you hit the foot switch it will turn off, hit the foot switch again it will turn on, you can use the knobs and the switch to create any sort of sound and you can turn the effect off and back on again and it will always follow the settings of the hardware. Preset mode lets you save the knob positions and the effect setting into memory and when you recall a preset that preset will load exactly how you saved it and it will actually disregard the settings of these knobs. Now if I activate preset mode, you'll see the center effect LED will turn red, and now I've recalled a previously saved preset, and it will disregard all of these hardware settings and just have my preset sound. And when you're in preset mode, the interesting thing is you can go and change the knobs to make changes to the preset, but if you disable and then re-enable, it will always jump back to the exact settings as when you saved the preset. So I'll exit preset mode and go back to normal operation. You can also get into preset mode at any time without using the Neuro app. Just turn off the effect, and then press and hold the foot switch for about three seconds. The light will turn red, and now you're in preset mode. The third option in the Hardware Options screen is the External Tap Tempo switch. This is the External Tap Tempo switch available from Source Audio. You connect it to the Vertigo using the included TRRS cable. It goes from the output of the switch into the control input of the Vertigo. Now that I've made the connection, all I need to do is enable the external tap tempo switch in the app. And now you can see the LED at the top of the Vertigo is showing me the tempo. 
In this mode, I can use the speed knob as I normally do. Turn it up to increase the speed, turn it down to decrease the speed, and the LED will blink in time to show me the tempo. <laughs> I can then use the tap tempo switch to set the tempo how I want it. The speed knob allows you to set subdivisions for the tap tempo switch. So in its full counterclockwise position, it's set as quarter notes. There will be one sweep of the LFO for each click of the tap tempo switch. The next position, about a third of the way up on the knob, is eighth notes. <laughs> The next position, about two-thirds of the way up on the speed knob, is triplets. And when the speed knob is turned fully up, you'll get sixteenth notes. The next option in the hardware options menu is the MIDI channel. Every 1 Series pedal is MIDI compatible through the Neuro Hub. The Neuro Hub connects to your MIDI controller, and then you can hook up the Neuro Hub to your 1 Series pedal through the control port. If you have multiple devices of the same type connected to the same hub, for example, if you had two or three vertigos plugged into the same hub, you would need to give them each a separate MIDI channel in order to have them respond to different messages independently. By default, every device is set to channel 1, but in case you need to, you can change the MIDI channel here. Mm -hmm. 